Hello, can everyone see me? Hello. Can everyone see me now? Uh, I have started the stream again. I don't know why the Wi-Fi here, I have the fastest internet you would not believe here, and the Wi-Fi just drops out every five minutes and I don't get it. Uh, but anyway, let me reiterate what I was talking about. I was saying stuff about dick pics. I think I can understand. I, here's what I, I... The one time I could see maybe it's okay to throw it in is when you're already in a relationship with someone, you're already, like, got a thing going with them. You know, there's already some... There's already connection, right? And... You're at you're both at work and you're like taking a picture to tease someone and she you know you 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 know she's so showing something you're showing something and you're kind of teasing each other and then like you stop you know like nope that's it no more you know like maybe you want to like show something there maybe but still even in that context I can't understand showing the whole thing I, uh, but maybe you want to get close to it you know maybe that's your thing I don't know what your thing is. But that's the only context I can think of where it might even be remotely, like, it might work. Uh, I, I don't... I can't picture anything else. I've never sent one in my life. There's people that keep bringing it up in the chat. I've never sent one in my life. Hold on one second. Are you, in, are you by chance in any talks of collaborating with Cinemassacre? Dude, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. I love that rental review show that they do. Absolutely love it. Uh, what about nut picks? Sack picks? Yeah, I would take a sack pick. Yeah, I would take a sack pick. That's, that's fine. Garrett has taken a sack pick and he sent it to all of us at Mega64. So that's, that, you know, that exists. Um, dick, dick is different. If balls are impersonal, balls can be funny. Haha, <laughs> you know, whatever. Something about a picture of a dick is, like, threatening. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like... Something's just, like, scary about it. You know what I mean? It's just like... Uh... How do you feel about the other guys in Rental Review? They all seem like good guys. I'll be right back. Yo, how cool is this? I, when I was at Universal Studios the other day, they had the full-blown Quickie Mart from The Simpsons, and they were selling Duff inside, which I thought was so cool, but I was like, well, I don't drink beer. But it's not. It's an energy drink. And it was only six bucks for an energy drink that's not even full size. But anyway, but it was cool seeing, like, the legit can and all that. Uh... What did that say? Rocker, are you going to reference the musical history of your office? What? No. Uh, what are you talking about? Um, they taste good and they aren't that sugary. Oh, okay. I haven't had, I haven't had these yet. So. They sell those cans at Spencer's Gifts for like a dollar. I'm sure they do. Uh, how much? Pl Somebody asked earlier. Did was the King was the Kingdom Hearts video scripted? It wasn't scripted in any way. Uh, how much planning went into your grill video on your personal YouTube channel? Uh, a lot. That was that was planned out and pretty much in my head. Probably a year. Uh, by the beginning of last year, it was, and I was just like, okay, whenever I have like time to just fuck around with that, I'll do it. And that, at the end of the year, seems to always be a good time. Um, Rocco, have you even played Kingdom Hearts? No, uh, I, I mean, I played the old ones. I haven't played three. Um, I didn't understand Grill at all, Rocco, but I liked it a lot. That's okay. I think there will be stuff later that. The intention of the grill video was to be kind of dumped in the middle of a situation. You, you weren't meant to really understand it in that way. 
you're in the middle of a situation and now other stuff has to happen for it to be like, oh, that's why we were there and doing that. But some stuff is just vague too. Uh, when are you going to finish Red Dead Redemption 2? I did. I already did that. The can you call in late part? I was dead. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad that made you laugh. Give us a tour of your fridge, crib style. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you a tour. All right. You ready for my? I don't know if the Wi-Fi is gonna cut out because every time I touch the phone, the fucking thing ends. But we'll try. Okay. Here we go. I had to check because I didn't know what was in here. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Cribs. All right, welcome to my welcome to my fridge. We're gonna do crib style editing. Okay, check it out. Almond butter. Gotta go Kirkland style on this one. Almond butter. They got good ass almond butter. This is great. Very low carb. Very energy dense stuff you know parmesan cheese i don't really use that stuff but you know you don't want to not have it now this stuff has some kick bitchin sauce you got to get bitchin sauce and this is another uh this is a sauce kind of a it's salsa-esque and it's but here's the gimmick ready it's all wait where the fuck is it it's all made of almond so you could see I'm an almond fan. You know, you got almond butter and almond. It's spicy as hell. Dip. So there you go. Bitchin' sauce. Okay, sharp cheddar. I don't know why that's not even... There's not even any in there. Why is that, why is that in there? Get that out of there. Okay. I don't know why... The, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Soil it. This is, you know, if you want to have this uh, and, you know, you you want a meal, but you don't even want to think about it. You're working. You just want to chug a meal that like this. You drink this and you're full. Uh, and it's just, you know, it's it's it's, uh, you know, just it's a complete meal in a bottle. But you know what? I don't really have these anymore. These are kind of left over from last year because they're kind of a lot of. There are a lot of carbs and not a lot of protein. You know what I mean? So I, I just, I don't really, but, but you know, they're pretty good. There was, there was a while that I was having these and, uh, and not really eating much else. And I did, I felt pretty good, but whatever. Anyway. All right, let's go down here. What do we got? Eggs. Now these are cage free. So, you know, none of that cage stuff, you know, none of that stuff, you know, we don't want to put a, that thing in a cage. If you want to, let me know. And we'll, you know, we'll have you removed from the chat because uh, I don't, I don't do the cage. I'm not, I'm a uh, cage free. Well, it says that. Give him a break. Okay. Um, now we got what the hell is this? Bacon and eggs. What the fuck? It's like bacon and eggs coffee or some shit. I didn't buy that. This is not mine. I didn't. I didn't buy that. I didn't buy that. Now here's something I did buy. This is what it's all about. You got that Costco card. This is what you want. Real mayonnaise. This is what you want. And again, that's from Cage Free Eggs too. So uh, this is what you want. You want a, a gallon of, you don't want just a little jar of mayo. You want the big bucket. You know, you want like so much mayo, you'll go insane. You know, so that's just, that's what you want. Um, thank you, son of M-Hack, about the kind words on the grill video. Anyway, uh, there back there is some Zevia, and that's just like, uh, it's not really soda. It's more just carbonated water, but with a little bit of Stevia in it just to give it a little bit of a flavor. And I like to have that if I'm like really, if I'm really wanting like a, you know, really want a soda or something carbonated, that is what's good. It's got like, no, it's got no bullshit in it. Uh, but it just kind of has a little bit of a sweet taste. So if you're, you know, if you're ever craving like dessert or something, I have one of those and it kicks that, you know, it's just kind of like, okay, that was sweet enough. I don't need anything else, you know? All right, let's go down here. Now you saw those eggs before. Now we got 
hard boiled eggs, sometimes you don't have time to cook them on yourself. You know, you know, in the in you know, you don't have time to boil eggs. Well, these are just like individually wrapped, kind of like you know, Costco has this. But you know what? These kind of like aren't that good. Like they kind of have a weird, funny aftertaste to them. So uh, maybe you should do them yourself. These are kind of bullshit. I don't, I don't, I don't think I like those. Okay. Uh, every now and then you want some salami. You know. You got a pack of those. You get the cheese in there, so those are good. You got got to have the fresh lettuce. You know, you got get you know have a fresh salad all the time. Uh, what's in here? Okay, I got a, I got some shrimp, and I'm letting that thaw out. You know, these were uh, shipped here frozen, so I'm just kind of letting those. Oh shit! Oh fuck! And then you know you got more bacon down there. I think that's pretty much it. Okay, what kind of condiments we got? Okay. This but I don't use that butter. I use, I was using this butter here. Uh, you gotta have Chick Fil A sauce on deck. You got to because just in case someone brings over some rogue chicken and you don't have that sauce, they're gonna laugh at you and they're gonna kick you out. Okay, so there you go. Um, Hidden Valley got that going. You got chunky blue cheese. Uh, if you got barbecue, you gotta have salt lick. Uh, in Texas, they got, they know how to lick salt. You know what I mean? Uh, so honey pecan, uh, you got to have that sauce. Soy sauce. Uh, I haven't, you know, I don't really have PB and J much anymore, but you know, special occasions over Christmas break. I had that. Oh shit. Stop beeping at me, dude. Got water, you know, we got a filtered water there. More, more butter. There's a ginger ale that's been there for I think about two and a half years. So that's pretty much it that's in there. All right, what's in the what's in the freezer? Pretty much nothing. Why is there soda in the freezer? That shouldn't be in there. What the fuck? Uh, we got some uh, veggie sausage patties. You don't need the real. I mean, if you don't want the meat. Don't get the meat. Just get the veggie version. That's what I did. They're veggie. So, you know, you got that. Uh, blueberries. Uh, I think that's been there for about three years, three and a half years. So there you go. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Whoops. That's pretty much it. What else do you need to see? You know? So we got it. Um, do I fuck with Uncrustables? I think Uncrustable, I, listen, I'm not a stoner, I've never been a stoner, but that is the ultimate stoner food. I give them a lot of credit. They, they truly invented the ultimate stoner food. But uh, I, whoops, setting that right there. Uh, I like the Uncrustables. I like, you know, just on a whim, just popping one out and eating one. I like them, I, I give them credit. Doesn't, doesn't, it's not a substitute for the real PB&J thing, but I like them. Um, snack cabinets. What do I have in the cabinets? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Uh, these are really good if you're going. If you're trying to go like real low carb. Oh, vegetable fiend is saying they bought bitchin sauce after I showed it. Thank you so much. Um. If you're going real low carb, like you're trying to stay like off carbs, and but you want like chips every now and then, these are a great substitute. Just the cheese. These are bars of like burnt cheese. Like they're just hardened cheese. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you right now. If you want, if you have that craving for like chips, you know, you get these. You open one up. And see, it's like it's like burnt crispy cheese. Toasted. That stuff is good. I agree. Um, people, Mojave in the chat is saying he got a burrito. This was making him hungry. Okay. Well. Camille saying just trying not to eat. That's how you lose weight. I'm telling you. 
life is not about skipping meals, man. Enjoy every sandwich. Eridemia says, I feel like I could ask out a girl in my math class, but she's graduating this year and lives far away, so it feels like what's the point, you know? Plus, I'm helping her out with the homework and studying for tests, so I don't know if that's a weird dynamic or, not, or what. Yeah, I could see that. That's tough. Yeah, because she is going to go away. But then again, will you will you always regret not asking? I don't know. But that can be a weird dynamic. That you do have, sometimes you do have to be mindful of the dynamic. Um, Rocco, what is the best Halo game? The best Halo game. Um, I think the first one. <laughs> Combat Evolved. Uh, Camille is saying, did you get the candied nuts at Bucky's? Hell yes, I did. Absolutely. Uh, back to the Halo thing. I just felt like one had this expansive... Like, that was my first kind of introduction to first-person shooters, and it was so, like, expansive, and the world was big, and I loved the revolutions of the story, or the revelations, I should say, of the story and uh, the way that they revealed the flood and all that stuff. When I played 2, I felt like uh, the story would, did not take precedent. And I mean, it, the, the game ended mid-sentence, so I, I would never say 2. Uh, and I, I guess maybe the multiplayer was better, but I, I played the campaign. I didn't play the multiplayer. I did enjoy it uh, for 3, though, I think. I remember liking it. I liked 4, too. I did not like the campaign in two. I thought it was gobbledygook. Um, Clint is asking, Rocker, are you going to check out Dragon Quest XI on Switch later this year? Absolutely. I was waiting for them to announce that. I didn't play it on PS4. I wait. I'm like, we're getting the Switch version anytime now. I'm so happy they announced that, and it's got all this extra stuff. I'm stoked. I'm going to turn the exhaust off. Sorry about that. Okay. Rocco, being a fan of Chrono Trigger and Dragon Ball Z, how do you feel about Dragon Quest? Well, that's why I love it. I mean, uh, well, I, I should back up. I played Dragon Warrior on NES back when it came out. That's how fucking old I am. I can't believe this. This is, this is bullshit. I feel like father time here. But anyway, I used to love that game back in the day. And it was later that I discovered Dragon Ball and Chrono Trigger and all that stuff. And then I found out, wait, that guy did all this stuff for Dragon Quest? Like, what the fuck? And um, so I love it. I haven't played that much since way back in the day, but I was dying to play Eleven. Eleven looked awesome. My brother uh, played it and said it was amazing. So um, yeah, I've been dying to play it. And now I will on the Switch. Thoughts on Astral Chain? Is that Platinum's new game? Because that looks sick. Didn't they give away Dragon Warrior in Nintendo Power? I don't know anything about them. It is Valentine's Day, guys. We should be talking about Valentine's Day stuff. You know, this is, this is gamer stuff. It's okay. You just got a Broly Banpresto figure uh, that you pre-ordered for like 22 bucks, and it looks like it costs 85 Yeah, Banpresto is really good. They make some good statues, dude. Rocco, will you be my Valentine? You know what? Sure.
Rocco, why have you never settled down with an SO? Um, I keep that stuff. I don't, uh, I keep that off the, I don't talk about that stuff. Um, I just don't, it's not part of the conversation. You know what I mean? It's just not, eh. I'll talk, like I talk about past stuff. I'll, I'll talk about past stuff, but things that are currently in effect, I just kind of feel like, eh, not anybody's business. You know what I mean? It's not really pertains to, you yeah. Um, Rocco has hose in different area codes. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's the reason. That's why I, uh, kept it to myself. Oh, <sighs> you want some of those cheese chips? Well, Vegetable Fiend, I'm sorry, but they're all, they're all gone. That's it. Do I have a favorite filmmaker working today? Um... That's a really good question. Favorite filmmaker working today. I mean, you know, people like to like talk like they are better, but I, you know, I fucking love Christopher Nolan. Like I, I like him. Uh, sometimes he can do some kind of hokey stuff, but like I'm into the, I don't know. I, I like him. Uh, Denny Villanueva is great. Um, you know, I really like Damien Chazelle, but I was surprised how just okay First Man was. I thought it was just like, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I, every ingredient was 10 out of 10, so I don't know why the final product wasn't, but it was okay. It was fine. I would say maybe David Fincher. Yeah, David Fincher, anytime he does something, I get something out of it. So David Fincher, you know... People do hate on Nolan just to hate. I just appreciate, I appreciate Christopher Nolan making blockbuster shit that tries to do something different, whether it succeeds or not. I appreciate that. No, I never saw Hereditary. I'm cleaning up. It's a little greasy around here, guys, so I'm just kind of, you know. Cleaning up a bit. Don't mind me. Favorite Nolan movies. Um, the Prestige is, is my number one for sure. But I... Um, aside from that... Uh, uh, you know. Inception. Dark Knight. Um, and Memento, of course. You got that PlayStation Classic for $40 from Walmart, and it has resume points already from where someone else played it. So somebody returned it? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, David Lynch. Why didn't I say David Lynch? I love David Lynch, but he's not really... Is he doing a movie right now? Um... Memento or Prestige. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, yeah, Interstellar was ambitious. Uh, I kind of figured out its gimmick when I first saw it, and I was kind of like, oh, man. And I wasn't really that enamored with it the first time I saw it, but I liked it a lot more the next time I saw it. I have three episodes left of Serial Experiments Lane, but I don't understand when people like it so much. Why do you consider it one of your faves? Uh, I think it has a lot to do with uh, identity and uh, how we present ourselves in the physical versus digital space. And there's a lot to extract from it. Um, see how you feel when it's over, but I really felt like It, I really felt like it it predicted a lot of how we treat media and information now um, and like the loss of ourselves to it. I loved it. I don't know that that's I don't know if even any of that made sense, but I really like it. 
And it was, it, as, as somebody said in the chat, it was extremely ahead of its time, too. Absolutely. Um... Gun people are saying Interstellar is just like Gunbuster. Now I never saw Gunbuster, so maybe I should see that. Anyway, well, guys, that might be it for this week. This stream broke in two, so I'll have to patch that together. But uh, that might be it for right now. Oh, I want to show you something. I gotta like clean my hands one more time. Oh, okay. Gunbuster is great. I'll have to check it out. Did Anno work on that? Yeah, he directed it, right? Okay, cool. All right, I got to show you something. First of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, our friends at Bandai Namco because they sent the special edition, ultimate edition, whatever, of uh, collector's edition, whatever you call it, of Jump Force. And it had this badass statue in it. Look at that. Sorry, I was just looking to see if it had anything under it. But look at that. Oh, my God. That's a nice-looking statue, so I want to say thank you to them for that. Uh, we were pl we were playing that earlier. We did a friend dimension of it. But anyway, um, but I, yeah, I wanted to show you uh, this package that I got. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Look at this. I didn't know... I didn't know that... Adobe. First of all, you know I love stupid corporation like outerwear, right? So like this hoodie I'm wearing, I don't know if I could show this, but like you see this hoodie and it's got little Caesars logo on the sleeve, you know, kind of don't know what it is until you bust out the sleeve, you know, anyway, uh, so that's, I got little Caesar stuff. Now I didn't know. Look what I found. Look what I found. I didn't realize that Adobe had a corporate store. So I got, check this shirt out. Can you see that? The Photoshop logo, this is a long sleeve. And then look, the sleeve has the toolbar for Photoshop. <laughs> look at that, oh my God. And it's got the uh, Adobe logo like real faint under the collar. But anyway, that was cracking me up. So that's the Photoshop shirt, hell yeah. Come on, that is legit. That is legit. And then I got, uh, you know, we use that Adobe Premiere a lot, so they have uh, uh, Adobe Premiere logo throw pillows. So uh, I got a couple of those, you know, it's got the, pretty good. Um, I got, I got socks that have uh, all of the Adobe Creative Suite icons on it, so you know, Name which one you want. I know some people online, other people related to video groups or whatever, that have fo uh, Premiere socks that just have the Premiere logo. Where do you get those? If anyone out there can find them, let me know. Because I want the Adobe Premiere socks. Absolutely. And then this, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, okay, and this is a pin of the logo. Oh, the Premiere logo, look at that. Anyway, I'm sorry the stream quality was so bad tonight, guys. This is fucking unacceptable. Like, I have the fucking fastest internet, and the Wi-Fi just drops like a motherfucker, and it really pisses me off. So I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I really apologize, because it pisses me off. I'm trying to do a good stream for you guys, and the Wi-Fi is like... <laughs> Fuck off with that. Like, what the fuck am I paying for? <laughs> we don't know if we can keep the... Stab st stabilize the... Fuck off. Anyway. Well, guys, that's it for Future Probe tonight. Hey, I am pissed. I'm ending it pissed. You know? Maybe, uh, you know, th this Valentine's Day was supposed to be intimate and supposed to be special. And, like, you're only getting audio from me. Like, give me the fucking... Like... 
bullshit. Everyone's downloading porn or something tonight. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. This has been another Future Probe. I hope you liked it. Keep it posy. Keep it sexual. Keep it physical. Keep it practical. Keep it textu textual. Keep it contextual. Keep it metaphysical. Keep it. Just keep it. <laughs>